we are going to see the first application of Spring Boot. So we know that we are using IDE IntelliJ. So first we have to open this uh, IDE. So this IDE um, is a popular uh, IDE which is used by many developers all over the world to develop a Spring Boot application. Not only it will help us to develop a Spring Boot application, it also helps us to develop some J2W applications. So by default it will load uh, the project uh, in which we are working. So we are going to start from the scratch and uh, so this is the old uh, program which I have developed with the help of uh, Intel JID. So to develop an application what we have to do is go to file then select new then you can select something called project here and in this project uh, what it will do is uh, as we know that uh, this spring or uh, this ide uh, help us to develop many application like uh, java fx j2me and so many things so what i'm going to do is i'm going to develop a string boot application so we have to use a string initializer so click on the string initializer and uh, in the project SDK we can select uh, JDK 1.8 and this and the string initializer uh, service we have to use this uh, URL and this is the URL uh, in which uh, it's a startup uh, or a starting work for uh, Spring Boot so what it will do is uh, you can either uh, create application with the help of this URL or uh, you can create uh, the uh, application with the help of this uh, IntelliJ. So what I am going to do is I am going to uh, use uh, this IntelliJ. So click on next. So when we click on next it will ask for the group. So group I am going to create as org dot study so and the artifact is the demo so what it will do is it will create a xml file that is pom.xml with the help of group and artifact and we will see that uh, when we go for the next steps and uh, in the type you have to select uh, maven project or uh, if you select a gradle project you can do but normally programmer they will use Ma maven project and the language is java and the packaging is either we can go for uh, Java, jar or war so this jar is java archive file and this war is web archive file uh, the outcome uh, if you select this jar the outcome will be there uh, the package will be it is in the jar format or uh, if you want to have a war we can use war file and the version is uh, java version 8 and the version here is uh, 0 0.0.1 snapshot and the name is demo and the description is demo project so this everything the metadata about the project it will be in the pom.xml file then we click on next and this is the main thing now uh, here uh, we can include the dependencies and uh, we are using the string boot uh, 2.0.3 and uh, in the core uh, what normally we will use is we will use dev tools and uh, right now i am not going to use it but uh, just select that and in the web i will use web and uh, in the template engine normally uh, they will use something called as theme leaf uh, template so I'll, I'm going to select this and I'm not going to use any database from for this video but uh, in the upcoming video I'll use some uh, JDBC then JPH2 etc and uh, after doing that uh, so there are so many dependencies are there we can connect this spring boot with the cloud and so many options are there so click on next so so this is the project name so project name i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to put the name as first demo and click on finish so i'm going to override uh, overwrite this workspace with the help of uh, with my new program so click on this window so what it will do is it will uh, it will download all the um, uh, dependencies and jar files and uh, it will ask for maven projects need to be imported click on enable auto import 
so what it will do is uh, the first demo is the project thing and this is the section and this is the pom.xml it's a uh, you can see uh, in the group we have given org.study and the artifact name is demo and the version is 0.0.1 snapshot and the packaging uh, we have selected uh, war instead of jar and these are the dependencies for example uh, when we use this theme leaf template and the dependencies group id will be generated as well as the artifact and similarly like um, I'm, i have selected dev tools then by default this tomcat is bundled inside this and everything it will be added by itself with the help of pom.xml and um, i'm going to create a source file so in the source file we have a main thing followed by the package we have included so we have included org.study.demo and by default it will have uh, this demo dot application or oh sorry demo application dot java it doesn't work uh, until we add some application into it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new uh, java file so right click on uh, this package then select new something called java class so i'm going to give the name as hello then click on okay so so it will create a class called hello and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to just print hello world in the screen so for that uh, we have to use annotation so normally the annotation for the class uh, the main class will be the rest controller and when you add this risk controller uh, it automatically adds this annotation that org.springframework.web.bind.annotation and uh, i am going to create a method say say public void demo in which i am going to sorry it's not void string and i am going to return the string hello world hello world and to return it what we have to do is we have to create uh, the request mapping annotation so request mapping annotation and this request mapping annotation we can give the path in which it, it is going to execute so the path is just just a slash so this is like we will print a hello world application or simply we have will print the hello world what i will do is i uh, will go to this demo application and right click somewhere here and click on run demo application and uh, it will execute so you can see the operation build it will take some time because it's it's running for the first time then um, it will start uh, the server for us you can see the spring framework and you can see it starts with the port number 8080 so what you can do is go to the browser type localhost colon 8080 and you can see the hello world so if i want to same if i want to change the content i can add it here hello world um, welcome to spring boot so i'm not going to run uh, with the help of this button what i'm going to do is i'm going to use something called as maven so we can run the spring boot with the help of uh, um, this run option or uh, we can help of this uh, maven so if you want to run this with the help of maven so you have to type maven mvn 
spring hyphen boot then you have to type run so you can see the maven thing it's working so it takes some time because it's installing all the plugins and uh, um, all the necessary dependencies to execute the application and now the tomcat is started at the port number 80 okay, and if you refresh you can see hello world thing so we can run this boot the string boot with the help of two option one is we can directly go to the run option or you can run or with the help of uh, this maven uh, command we can do that and you can uh, stop the server or uh, you can stop the tomcat with the help of the option control c when you do that it will ask you for the terminate batch job you have to type y and uh, the other way is like uh, you can go to the demo application right click and select run demo application this will uh, this will do all this background stuff for you yeah the same thing so you'll get the same result so this is how we will develop a simple string boot application so this is like uh, the rest controller annotation this this represents that uh, this will be the important controller and uh, we have created a class called hello and we have created a request mapping the slash suppose if you want to change it so you can change like this for example hello followed by world so if you do this what happen is like uh, when you run this application um, while running the while running this application we have to add this path in the browser it's like this so when you type enter it won't work because it will give you the white label error page because the the resource is not available but when you give this uh, the path which you have mentioned in request mapping it will work yeah so this is how we will uh, develop a simple application with the help of uh, the spring boot thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel